Hey, this is Josh Builds, and today we're going to be building an electric go-kart out of recycled materials. To start, I'm going to get a large piece of thick plywood, and I'm going to start off by just cutting the shape of the go-kart into the plywood. Now that we have the frame of the go-kart cut out, we're going to work on the steering system. For this I use the front half of a bike. You can use any bike, but the smaller the bike the better. I'm going to trace the angle of the bike onto this piece of wood here, and then I'm going to cut two of them out. Now all I have to do is screw these in place, and these are basically going to be used to hold the front of the bike in place, and this is going to act as our steering system. Now all I'm going to do is drill a couple holes through so that we can secure the bike steering wheel into place. Now I'm going to put some triangles on the left and right side of this to stop it shifting or twisting. Shall we begin? For the drive system, I'm going to use a broken electric scooter. I found someone selling this as broken for $5 on a classified website like Kijiji or Craigslist. I also found another one that someone was throwing out because it was broken. Now you'll often find that people throw these out because the batteries aren't working or the speed controllers aren't working so their electric scooter isn't working at all. But we don't really need the battery or the speed controller, all we're using this for is the motor and drive system which are often working in electric scooters that are broken. Now I'm going to mount one scooter on the left side and one scooter on the right side. This is not a drill. Once I'm done spray painting this, I'm going to add the batteries. These two batteries I found online, they're 12 volt, 12 amp batteries, and I'll post links in the description below, and I'll post some alternatives as well that you can use. And I'm going to attach these in series. Next, I'm going to mount a switch onto the front of the bike. Now the wiring might be a little hard to follow, so on the top left, you can see a schematic of basically how I wired everything together, the batteries, with the motors, with the switch. Like I said before, we're not using the speed controller or batteries from the scooters, so the two wires you see coming out of each scooter are just basically the wires that are attached to the motor, and I'm just following the wiring schematic that's up on the top left. Now all that's left is to put in a seat and put in some stuff to stop the batteries from sliding around. Oh, shout. Now that the go-kart's done, we can test it and uh, do a dry run first without riding it and see if it goes and the wheels do spin. Now it's time to test it out. I'm gonna let my little brother test it out while I film. As you can see, the go-kart corners well. It can even go downhill and uphill. The 
Goku can even do a bit of off-roading and tackle the grass. Thanks for watching to the end. If you liked the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out my social networks that are posted below. Also, I'd love to hear from you guys, so if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.